thank you to Blinkist for sponsoring this episode. Blinkist helps you discover and understand powerful ideas from books and podcasts in a short amount of time. It widens your knowledge on a variety of different areas and transforms your ordinary moments into incredible opportunities to discover the world around you. It offers the best selection of nonfiction books, pulls out the key takeaways, and puts them into 15-minute text and audio explainers called Blinks for an immediate moment of meaningful inspiration. Blinkist has condensed over 5,000 titles in 27 different categories and also produces shortcasts, which are Blinks for podcasts. Thanks to Blinkist, you can access valuable knowledge and great ideas quickly. Blinkist has been really great for me because I can listen to all kinds of different history and uh, new and inspirational ideas while I work on the house. Just recently, I listened to Leonardo da Vinci by Walter Isaacson. Da Vinci is such a fascinating character to me because he never limited his creativity. He was always adaptable to his environment and he never stopped being curious about things. So it allowed him to excel in so many different areas like anatomy, medicine, he was an inventor, a sculptor, a painter, an architect, an engineer, and a writer. So that's something I uh, truly admire about the guy. Because as you guys know here at the house, you have to be extremely adaptable and creative and curious to be able to find solutions for all the problems that are here. So I had quite a bit of fun listening to Walter Isaacson's Blink on Da Vinci. Right now, Blinkist has a special offer just for our audience. Click the link in my description to start your free seven day trial with Blinkist and get 25% off a premium membership. So try Blinkist for yourselves. See what you can learn and discover in a short period of time. So thank you to Blinkist and back to the show. Hello everybody and welcome back. I had a slight bit of trouble with the lift this week. Nothing wrong with the lift itself, of course. However, because of all of the rain from the week previous, the lift did kind of subside into the soil. So not ideal, we've repositioned it. However, that did limit the amount of time I was able to spend on the lift this week. Just one of those unforeseen problems that you don't expect to happen, but happens. But we've corrected it now. So as I say, onwards and upwards.
so I didn't get quite as much time on the lift as I would really have liked this week. However, the spots I did end up hitting do look quite good. There is certainly a noticeable difference from this week and last week. And every little bit counts when you're doing something like this. I always feel good after a hard day on the lift like these days. Because I know the old girl's doing much better with this nasty old paint off of her. I really like this little section here because it kind of tells the story. You can kind of see where I've never stripped it, where I've stripped it once, and where I've stripped it now twice. Of course, in the same section, you can see some of the massive spalling I have up here. There's quite a bit of damage in this one little corner right here. So definitely have my work cut out for me when I go ahead and get back to restoring the stone with the restoration mortar. However, that is not the only project I did this week. As I let the side yard dry out so I could drag my lift out of the hole it dug and level it back out, I started stripping the stone foundation on the side of the house. Most of this paint was just kind of coming off anyway, so essentially I just went out there with a screwdriver and a dental pick and just picked at the paint. And of course, since the window was sitting right there, I went ahead and threw a stripper on it too. So now that little window up front has kind of become a little side project. However, all the work for this project I did end up filming. However, my SD card corrupted and I can no longer retrieve those files. However, this is the result of that work. The actual stripping of the window itself has actually been quite fun. And I'll be reglazing that one this next week. So if you're into old window restoration, expect that. And the ironwork that surrounds the windows down there, the one for that window came out super well. But you'll have to come back next week to see that too. A lot actually happened in this week too. Unfortunately, some of it was lost to the SD card, but I met with a lot of people, including the city. Me and some of the neighbors are trying to get this area designated as a local historic district. And of course, that takes a lot of time going through the city to set that up. So it's been a bit of an exhausting week looking at plans and exactly what we want to do to preserve our neighborhood as a whole into the future. So definitely more encouraging, amazing things on the horizon. And of course, I can't wait to see what uh, the future holds for my little community and my city. So that's it for this week's episode, guys. You guys are amazing and I love you. So have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. We'll see you guys again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.